Starting a limited liability company, or LLC, can be an excellent way to protect your personal assets and establish a professional business presence. In this video, we will break down the process of forming an LLC into seven straightforward steps. Whether you're launching a small business or freelancing, these steps will guide you through the necessary procedures to get your LLC up and running. Step one, choose a name for your LLC. The first step in forming an LLC is to choose a name. Your LLC's name must be unique and not already in use by another business entity in your state. It should also comply with your state's specific naming requirements, which usually include terms like limited liability company or abbreviations such as LLC or LLC. To ensure your name is available, start by conducting a business name search on your state's Secretary of State website. It's a good idea to have a few alternative names ready in case your first choice is unavailable. Once you find a suitable name, consider securing a matching domain name for your business website, as having an online presence is crucial for today's businesses. Step two, designate a registered agent. A registered agent is an individual or a business entity that is designated to receive legal documents on behalf of your LLC. This can include tax notices, legal papers, and official correspondence. Most states require your LLC to have a registered agent. Step three, file articles of organization. Once you have your name and registered agent in place, the next step is to file the articles of organization with your state's secretary of state office. This document is essential for officially forming your LLC and usually includes basic information such as the name of your LLC, the address of your principal place of business, the name and address of your registered agent. The purpose of your LLC filing fees vary by state, generally ranging from $50 to $500. You can often file these documents online, by mail, or in person, depending on your state's regulations. Be sure to double check the requirements to ensure your application is complete. Step four, create an operating agreement. Though not always required, it's highly advisable to draft an operating agreement for your LLC. This document outlines the ownership structure, management, and operational procedures of your business. It can cover aspects like member roles and responsibilities, voting rights, profit and loss distribution procedures for adding or removing members, dissolution processes. Having a well-defined operating agreement can help prevent misunderstandings among members and provide a clear framework for managing your LLC. This is especially important if your LLC has multiple members or partners. Step five, obtain an EIN, an employer identification number or EIN is a unique identifier assigned by the IRS for tax purposes. Almost all LLCs are required to obtain an EIN, even if they don't plan to hire employees. It's essential for opening a business bank account, applying for business licenses, and filing taxes. Step six, comply with licensing and permits. Depending on the nature of your business and its location, you may need to obtain various licenses and permits to operate legally. These can include business licenses, sales tax permits, health department permits for food-related businesses, professional licenses for regulated professions. Check with your local city or county government to determine which licenses and permits are required for your specific industry and location. Non-compliance with licensing regulations can lead to fines or even the closure of your business, so it's crucial to ensure you have everything in place. Step seven, maintain compliance and ongoing requirements. Once your LLC is established, it's essential to stay compliant with ongoing requirements. This includes filing annual reports. Many states require LLCs to submit annual reports, which may involve paying a fee, paying taxes. Ensure you understand your tax obligations, including state and federal taxes. Depending on your business structure, you may need to pay self-employment taxes, sales taxes, or other applicable taxes. Thank you for joining me in this guide on how to start an LLC in seven steps. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more business tips and insights. I'd love to hear about your experiences in starting an LLC or any questions you may have. So leave your comments below. Stay tuned for more valuable content and until next time, good luck with your business journey.